Hey everybody, it's Todd here with Runaway Roses. And on this episode, I just wanted to go over what I use to polish up our RV, fiberglass RV. Uh, it'll work on a boat or camper or anything fiberglass for that matter. Uh, I am not an expert on this, but this is just what I found uh, that works well for me. Uh, maybe it'll help some of you. Uh, these are all things that I've tried over an extensive period of time. Um, and I did nail it down to one product that does seem to work well for me. Uh, I did try using what is a, just a little small polisher and that doesn't really do the job. It is really made for just buffing uh, for wax. Uh, so and it does work okay for that, put wax on, take the wax off, but it does not work uh, on your RV or on your fiberglass if there's a, um, yeah, a real a lot of oxidation and, and that needs to be cut through in order to get to bring the polish back. Um, a little uh, small polisher for, for wax is not going to do the job. This really works probably better on cars than it does on fiberglass. I have used, tried this as well. Uh, and this is more of a buffer polisher. Uh, so it, it will do a little bit more of a cut on the fiberglass and try to get through some of the oxidation. Um, however, it does not really have quite the power that it takes to get through the oxidation if it's pretty heavy on your fiberglass. Um, if it's just a light oxidation on the fiberglass, on the, it does seem to work pretty well. Um, I've used this um, on, on a boat that, that I polished up and it did pretty good for that, but the uh, oxidation on the fiberglass on the boat was not nearly as bad as uh, what I've uh, had to work with on the, on the camper. Um, on the uh, on the casita that we had and on the Bigfoot that we have now, both uh, were oxidized because whoever had them before us just didn't keep them up, didn't wax them, polish them or anything. So it did need a little bit heavier cut on that. Um, so what I have found that does work best to really get through it and bring the polish back, it takes a full on polisher. Um, and this is much stronger and, and faster than, than one of those. Um, I'm not sure what the size is for this, but it'll usually run it at, at around uh, 1500 to 2000 RPMs when I first put the, uh, the compound on there to help cut through that oxidation. And then after I get, kind of get through that a little bit, I'll bump it up to like 3000, 3500 uh, RPMs and it does seem to work pretty well then it, and it really brings the shine out. Uh, this particular model I got from uh, Northern Tool and it does have a speed gauge on there however I don't think it's really accurate as far as RPMs go. Um, but So I just kind of have found what seems to work for me with this. Um, on this do use 100% uh, cotton uh, pad up here so uh, it works better than um, the, the composite ones that I've tried before as well. Um, there are also some foam pads that do seem to, to work pretty well, but uh, most people tend to use the 100% the cotton uh, buffing pad. These are a couple products that I have tried. Uh, this is an oxidation uh, remover. This is from Meguiar's. All these products right here that I'm uh, showing you are from Meguiar's. I have used other products. However, these do seem to work the best. Um, but the oxidation remover, it works pretty well. Uh, however, you do need to uh, come back through it or come back after it and put a polish on it and use a separate uh, uh, product for that. Uh, and that does seem to work pretty well, but it's twice the work. And, uh, and it, it works well, but not as, as well as this product down here that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is here, this is uh, Meguiar's Mirror Glaze Ultra Cut Compound number 105. And this is a, a very heavy compound that will cut through the oxidation real well and it, it did a pretty good job. However, again, it really needs to have another polish put on it uh, afterwards. Really, you should have do a cut on the, on the oxidation with the compound, put a polish on it, and then put a final wax coat on it after that. But what I have found that works the best is this Meguiar's One Step Compound number 67. 
shake to you there. It works great. It is, uh, it's the easiest as far as it, it, it really is a one step for the most part. You really could come back afterwards and, and put a, a coat of wax on the surface after that. But this product, when I put it on here, like I said, I'll, I'll put it on this wool pad and uh, do a little mist of water on there. And, and it cuts through really well. I'm running at about 1500, 2000 RPMs. Uh, just kind of do a little, you know, uh, four foot square section or uh, something like that, or three by three at a time, uh, something like that. And I'll do that about 1500, 2000 RPMs. And then I'll come back, I'll, I'll speed the RPMs up on the machine. I'll come back over it again, a little mist of water on it, and it really just brings back the shine. It works really well. So this product, it's not the best. I know there are some better uh, marine grade uh, products uh, that just are really fantastic, but they're not as over the shelf, uh, not quite as easy to get, uh, but they are out there and they do cost, uh, some of them I've seen are you know, three times the price of this. Uh, this particular Meguiar's One Step Compound, I got it off Amazon and I think it was like $25 plus or minus, something like that. Uh, and basically this one bottle, I've already polished um, all four sides of our trailer, um, however I have not done the roof. And this one bottle basically did all four sides and there's a little bit left. I did go ahead and buy a second bottle just in case I didn't have enough for the, for the whole roof. Um, but that just kind of goes to show you, um, so if you have a casita or a scamp or something like that, this one bottle is going to be plenty. So, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get up on top of the camper, I'm going to tape off a, a square section, and I'm going to show you how to do it and how much of a difference it really does make. Okay, just to go over uh, what I'm going to use today, uh, just to give you the example of, of what I do and how I do it on the uh, fiberglass trailer, how to get it polished up. Uh, here's the products I'm going to keep on hand. I'm going to have a spray bottle with just water in it, some clean microfiber cloths, the uh, Marine and RV One Step Compound number 67 from Meguiar's. I'm going to have a couple little pads and basically you can use these. You can use this product when you get into tight spots where you can't get the whole uh, wheel in there. You can do these in the corners and, and that sort of thing. So these work real well for that. And then the uh, polisher uh, with the 100% wool pad on it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off a square so that I can show you the before and after. Okay, so here's the square that we're going to polish. It's going to wipe some of the dust off. We did already wash the camper. Uh, you really should wash the camper uh, before you do this. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to polish inside this area. I wish I had already filmed this video uh, while I was uh, polishing the sides and the front and the back. Um, however, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it at the time. Uh, so we do have a, the whole roof here to do, but I'm just going to show you this one little section before I do the whole roof. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get the polisher out here, take the compound, and just do a spiral around the pad. probably a bit much but um, it, it'll soak into the pad especially since the pad is dry and hasn't been used in a while but I will just give a quick little spray just a light mist just enough to kind of dampen it and then I'm going to turn this on I'm going to actually I'm going to go ahead I'm going to move it around a little bit spread the product on the surface otherwise it'll just sling off and you turn this thing on so here we go just going to just going to start on a 
slow speed around 1500 RPMs or so. So now that I've polished it, there's still a film on the fiberglass. So I'm going to go back with the microfiber cloth and, and wipe it off. I can actually see myself. There's actually a reflection there that I didn't have before. And if it's really bad, you might even have to go over it twice, but uh, this product does work really well. And it's nice and smooth now, under, unlike that real chalky feeling. It's nice and smooth, feels like glass. Take this tape up. Might even be able to see the, my reflection in it holding the camera and see, certainly can't over here where it's perfectly flat, but here where I've polished it, there's a big difference. Okay, I'm going to try to show you here. This is awfully hard to show being outside and it's partially cloudy partially sunny but you can see there that shiny square this would have been much easier to show you had I showed you on the uh, side of the camper when I was working on it but it's uh, actually super glossy and shiny right there on that one little square that I did as you can see up here on the front nose of our trailer this whole storage box was completely flat and oxidized. The whole front of the trailer was. And, uh, so, and I used that Meguiar's One Step Compound and Polish because it does have a built-in polish on it. And I used that on it with the wool pad on the polisher machine. And, um, and it works great. As you can see, this will be the, the shine that you get out of yours most likely or very similar. And uh, just wanted to show you what it'll do other than just on the roof of, of our camper, which is kind of hard to see the reflection you get, but uh, it works great. So again, the product that I have used on our trailer is this, the Meguiar's Marine and RV One Step Compound. It does work great. I just wanted to show it to you. I'm in no way affiliated with Meguiar's and they're not paying us to use this product. I've just found that this really does work great and uh, hopefully it'll work on your trailer. And I do appreciate you watching. 
uh, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time on Runaway Roses. Bye-bye.